We're Jordan and Emily. After traveling the world for over 170 days, we've realized that we absolutely love exploring a new place through their food. From Kaosui in Thailand, to Pani Puri in India, or even raw herring in the Netherlands. It's actually not bad. Trying the local cuisine always ends up being the best thing we do. So today, we're exploring beautiful Belgrade and trying to find the best possible food Serbia has to offer. So we have heard that we absolutely must start our day with a traditional Serbian breakfast called burek. Looks like there's going to be a shop just around the corner. I feel so naughty. This lovely restaurant has their chairs still out, so we're just gonna enjoy our breakfast here. We've made ourselves a bit of a list for today's food tour because we are so rushed on time here in Serbia. I don't know why, but I didn't really have that higher expectations for Serbian food until I started making this list. And then last night, it just blew out of proportions because we had chivapi for the first time and it is the best thing <laughs> I've ever eaten. <laughs> But starting the traditional way with burek and yogurt, we went for the cheese burek, which looks incredible. It is like this flaky dough, jam-packed with cheese. Oh, oh my God. It smells so good. Whoa, look at all of those layers. To wash it down, we've heard you need a yogurt drink. Apparently you need to shake this up quite well and the idea is that you're meant to take a sip of this, take a bite of your burek and enjoy them together. But I think I'm going to try them separately first. I'm really worried about not shaking it enough. I've seen so many people say foreigners don't do this. <laughs> I want to be a local. <laughs> the outside, can you hear that? It's so crispy. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the best way to start your day. Undeniable. It's 190 Serbian dinner, which is about $1.90 Australian. The outside is kind of oily, but still crispy and crunchy. And that inside dough is just so soft and delicious. And then the cheese has a little bit of a punch to it. I've heard a lot of Serbians say that this is the perfect hangover cure. And I can see why. It's like oily, but hearty, warming, comforting. Oh, mmm. Look at all that cheese. Look how greasy. That's so good. No wonder people say it's a hangover cure. Okay. It's just a super drinkable yogurt. Like it's, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's delicious, but it's very thin, very drinkable consistency. I feel like this is where I become ratatouille when he eats the cheese and the strawberries together and they blend and explode into beautiful flavors. Combine one flavor with another and something new was created. it does completely change it. Surely not. Well, it's yogurt. It becomes this really creamy consistency that has that almost tartness from like a Greek yogurt. You know that like tang from a yogurt? Oh, you want some? Too bad. <laughs> it's surprisingly dense, like pretty affordable in the morning and it will fill you up probably all the way past lunch. Amazing way to start the day. I'm full already. The next food is actually lunch, but it doesn't open for a little while, so we're gonna make some room in our stomachs and go for a walk to the fortress.
It happens to us so often, we've developed the ability to look through the construction. <laughs> it's really beautiful. So pretty up here on this old fortress wall overlooking the Danube and the something else river. I think we might come back here for sunset because I'm pretty sure it would set over that way somewhere. Maybe. Yeah, that way. From here, we have about a 20 minute walk which will take us into more of the heart of the old town of Serbia. We've got two things that I am so excited to try. It is insane. Pretty much two of my favorite things from different cuisines, but they do them really well here. So they're on the list. Thought we'd pull over for a quick iced coffee on the way to the next food stop. Decided to get an iced coffee because it's hot in Serbia today. And apparently ice coffees in Serbia are served with an entire ice cream. I oh, she brought it out like nothing was weird. <laughs> There's an entire magnum in there. Okay, beep sounds good. Govija. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a nice day. This next place is never something I would think we would be trying, but it is something of a Belgrade institution, has been in operation since like 19 something, <laughs> 1999, I think a long, long time. It's essentially a pizza of pizza with salad dressing on top, but there's beef salad, chicken salad, tuna salad. It looks weird. <laughs> From everything on Google, basically says you'll either love it or hate it, but you cannot leave Belgrade without trying it. We went for the gogucha. She did teach me how to say it, but I've forgotten instantly, which is the beef salad. So somehow there is beef in here. You know what that reminds me of? It's almost like pizza slice with cob loaf that has like a beefy tang to it. Like if you made the cob loaf insides and poured in a two minute noodle beef packet, that's what it tastes like. It is so tangy and creamy and delicious. The pizza's okay. It's not like the best pizza I've ever had in my life. But that salad dressing just takes it to a whole nother weird level. I've already got it on my hands. It's pretty messy. It doesn't sound like something that would be good. Salad dressing on a pizza. But it is. Once we finish this messy thing, we're gonna have the second half of our lunch. It's about a 10 minute walk from here to a place that serves some pretty delicious hot dogs. We've been struggling all yesterday and all today with how to get the crosswalk things to work. Pressing the top, the side, the bottom, and then someone just walked up. Apparently it's underneath. Oh. <laughs> she saw us just hitting everything. She was like, no, oh, those idiots. Dink. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Already, thank you. Uh, had a few comments lately about not pronouncing things right, so we've just asked exactly how we pronounce it. Kombasica. 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 Not the easiest language for us to pick up, but it is effectively a hot dog. I asked what's the most traditional ingredients in the most traditional way they have it, um, and it's pretty standard. It looks like it is the traditional meat, the bun, which feels really good. The bread here is incredible everywhere you go. Um, onions, lettuce, and mustard. And it looks incredible. Basically, when we were researching what foods to try and a hot dog came up, we didn't ask any other questions because we love hot dogs. <laughs> Apparently it's traditional, I don't really know how. I guess Eastern European and Balkan sort of style food, it eats a lot of meat and bread things, so a hot dog kind of makes sense. Oh, 
That meat is insane. Less char than the chibaps we've had previously. But there's like a spice to it as well. We've got spice to the actual meat. And I'm dripping everywhere. Less of a hot dog bun, more of a sandwich, like top and bottom. Bread is delicious and tastes really fresh. They've just got such a good consistency with all the bread we've had here. It's been incredible. And the mustard obviously adds a really nice taste. If you like something, you just eat it. You don't worry about the mess. It's a compliment. <laughs> I am stuffed. We are both stuffed. But like two minutes from here, there is one of the main walking streets. It's like fully blocked off to cars and pedestrianized. Looks gorgeous. I've seen photos of it at night. Definitely need to go for a bit of a walk until we have the next food, which I'm so excited for. Okay, that walking street is really cute. It is lined on both sides with really cute, romantic looking restaurants, bars, cafes, all that fun stuff. Definitely the place to be at night time. All right, one more thing to eat. First thing we ate when we got to Serbia, it's also gonna be the last thing we eat today. We're literally going back to the same place we went last night because it is so good. <laughs> So we've come to this restaurant literally around the corner from our Airbnb, which we came to last night because it's so close. And the chivapi here was so good, we just had to come back. I'm sure it's equally as delicious elsewhere, but it was just too good. We're also doing the same thing we did last night and got a couple of beers to have with it too. We heard it's the best and only way to enjoy them. I'm so excited. Emily got it last time, but I didn't. And she let me have little bites that I'm just so keen to have my own bunch. So chivapi is sort of similar to a Romanian meat in that it's known as little meat fingers. I think it's a super popular dish sort of across the Balkans and everywhere has their own twist and take on it. The Serbian version seems to be amazing and my favourite so far. It is really char grilled, beautifully char grilled and comes with this traditional flatbread that is also delicious. It also comes with some onions and we have gotten kaimak to try it with today. Is that kal kalmak? Kaimak. Yeah, yeah, can we get some of that on the side? Yeah. Yeah, okay. perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. It's like a side dish that apparently adds a bit of a boost to it. Thank you. My mouth is watering. Even just the smell straight away, it's so char really and delicious. I'm going to try some of the kaimak with it. and it oddly has like this sweetness to it. It's very rich and creamy. Not at all what you would expect. I have assembled my traditional flatbread with some of the chivapis, the kaimak and fresh onions in there. So it's gonna be the perfect bite. I am never gonna be the same after this. This is my new favorite dish in the entire world. The chivapi is just so juicy and tender and perfectly herby. It's so savoury, the char grill. There's literally not a thing I would change. Mm. It's so good. We have a list of all the best food we've had since we've been going around the world. I think this has just got to the top of that list. Incredible. My favourite part about it is the char grill of the juicy meat combined with the soft, warm bread. It's just insane. I would like to try the meat one, the potato one, the spinach one, the cheese one. <laughs> oh. <laughs>